good morning dear students today i am here to discuss more about classification chapter so in the previous lecture we have discussed about the different levels of classification hierarchical levels and also why we need classification so today i will discuss what all points led to the new system of classification or the modern system of classification in the previous system of classification all the organism were divided into only two groups one was plant and was second was animals plant means they were stable at one place animals they can move okay but there was something which led to the confusion among the scientists as the organism increased so the first thing was fungus so fungus was that category which was not moving but they were also doing the work of animals means they were heterotrophic they were not autotrophic okay so this led to the confusion and due to this confusion some new system of classification was important to be discovered okay so in another was bacteria that bacteria were also not able to be grouped into these two kingdoms plant and animals that's why robert whitaker he gave the modern system of classification where he classified into five different groups in 1969 monera protista fungus plantae animalia okay previously we have discussed this thing but just i am revising okay so we will see now what is happening over here so his mode of classification the basis of classification was three things cell structure mode of nutrition and lifestyle lifestyle means where they are living how they are living so this is these three basis were the basic of the modern system of classification now we will come to the first group that is called monera so these are the simplest organism and especially all the bacteria belong to this group okay we will see the characteristic now the first characteristic is it is prokaryotic means pro means primitive or old and karyon means nucleus okay means those organism which are having the primitive nucleus they were called prokaryotic means the nucleus will not be surrounded by nuclear membrane okay next is your single cell so the cell will be single only so there is no no way it can be the tissues okay then mitochondria will be absent the most important mitochondria which is responsible for energy synthesis atp synthesis that will be absent in monera okay next is it will multiply by binary fission the simplest among the fission or the mode of reproduction where what will happen at the time of maturity the nucleus enlarges and then it divides into two the body divides into two and also afterwards the cytoplasm gets divided into two equally distributed into the two cells that is binary fission next is it can have autotrophic or heterotrophic any mode of nutrition then it can survive in all extreme conditions especially generally all you can tell in all the extreme conditions either in the hot spring or in the very cold temperature it can survive okay next we will come to the we have to study about the different types of bacteria so the bacteria can live anywhere as i have told you it can be present anywhere inside your intestine inside the body on the host on the different animals on the trees on the plants in the soil everywhere it can be present okay its size generally varies from 0.2 to that is 100 microns so one micron is 10 to the power minus 6 meter so remember this thing one micron is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 meter so you can imagine how much small it is okay so this is also called micron 
micrometer okay on a cell now we see that there are different types of bacteria so the types of bacteria they are based upon their size and shape especially the shape due to the shape they are divided into different different types the first one is cocci or singular is coccus okay so these are spherical in shape its size will be very small as i have told you and example is streptococcus staphylococcus so these all are example of cocci next is your bacillus bacilli is the rod shaped bacteria and the example is e coli e coli it is present in the intestine which is responsible for digestion of the food okay inside the body then it is your spirilla spirilla is is just like spiral shape coiled shape it will be there just like this this is spiral just like a spring okay this is spirilla tripon triponema this is the example of spirilla okay one example it is given then you are having last one is your vibrio vibrio is just like comma shape and the beautiful example is vibrio cholerae which is causing cholera in case of human beings okay so these are the different types of bacteria based upon the shape okay now if we will come to the structure of the bacteria so if we will talk about the structure of bacteria these bacteria are very small as compared to other organisms and they are having their prokaryotic structures and then they are having a capsule on the outer end and like that they may, they may have the cilia or they may have some may have flagella also okay these are some of the specific characteristics of the bacteria okay next class i will be starting with the next topic with the useful and harmful bacteria okay till then take care